Hey, this is your new low rent Susie Orman. Uh, I say that because I'm trying to give you some financial advice on stuff I'm learning um, pretty quickly. Number one, nobody's telling you the truth because the people in charge of uh, any branch of government is someone that's paid to be there. I hope you all are reading the little uh, things that come in your credit card statements because they tell you how they're changing your interest rates and how they're changing when you go to the ATM. They tell you how they're changing your money, but they do it really softly so you don't really notice it. Now, if you were like me and, uh, you know, when the houses were selling well and you wanted to fix them up and use a little credit, well, you use some credit and then you would get a couple of hours, you would get a couple of letters a week from uh, other bank card companies that wanted your business. So they'd give you a good credit you know, rate, like 3.9% or 5.9%. Well, now they're taking all those away. I got to tell you, you know, you guys got to look at your statements. You have to see what's going on. The big companies, they're paying their CEOs millions of dollars. They're getting rid of anyone that's middle management. Those of us that are, you know, we're a little bit in the middle. But they're trying to force us to the bottom. And what good does that do the country when they take a small business? We're a small business. Supposedly, that's what built America. But not anymore. They are punishing small business while big corporate raiders get away with everything. And it's not right. But you know what? It's our fault because we haven't done anything about it as American citizens. We haven't done a thing. Have you written your uh, senators or your city people that represent you? Do you know that if you send one letter, well, you know, the way they do their uh, statistics says that 27,000 people sent that letter. Maybe off a little bit here and there, but guess what? Write those letters because they know most people feel like that person that wrote the letter. And I'm an angry American. We have tried really hard to always pay our bills on time, you know, to keep those interest levels down, to, you know, try to get ahead so at some point in our life we can play. Isn't that the real American dream? The real American dream is to just take care of your family and yourself, not worry about bills, and be able to just, you know, kick back a little bit. I know a lot of people took it to the wrong extent. They think they thought they needed, you know, 10 cars and big houses and stuff. Well, I guess some people do need that, and if they do need that, that's their right. It's America. They want to do that. But some of us just work hard, we're honest, in business, and we say to people what we're going to do, and we do it. Now, the credit card companies have a little line in their agreement which say to you they can change their agreement at any time. How fair is that? What if you said to somebody, okay, uh, I'm going to sell you tires, but at any time I can change my agreement. If those tires go flat, even if it's in two days and it rolls over and kills your whole family, I'm not responsible. That's what the credit card companies are saying to you guys, and nobody's in an uproar. How come I'm the only one in an uproar? I want to know. And I want you to get an uproar to wake up, America. Come on. This is logic from a high school dropout, and I can see the difference. Why can't you? Why can't you? First, the gas went up. Everybody said, oh, it's not political. It's nothing. Of course, it's political. It has something to do with you. And you know what? Everybody says, well, I'm just a person. I can't do anything about it. Well, guess what? You can do something about it. You can. You can't if you just sit there. Most of you don't even bitch about it. You just take it. Well, stop taking it and do something. Do something. Don't just sit there and take it. Make a YouTube video. Piss off some other people. Send it to your representatives. Hey, I'll even help you if you want me to. 
but we need to do this as American angry citizens that are getting taken advantage of you know this is not what our country was meant for you know religious freedom great okay we have religious freedom and we can go to any religion we want and then guess what we pay the money they pay no taxes but they tell people who to vote for boy that's fair isn't it you know there's a lot of things people need to think about and I'm not gonna give you too much at one time but I got a lot more to give you so this is Michelle uh, still fibromyalgia Michelle but uh, now it's logic from a high school dropout Michelle because guess what we can't take it from these corporations and from America anymore and Obama as nice as he is is not gonna do anything until you act up until you say what you want until you start screaming like I am we have to be in the majority we have to scream. We have to tell these credit card companies, come on. The banks already took all our money. If you guys were lucky enough to be in the stock market, well, you're richer than I am and you lost money. You should still be helping us out because you lost money too. This is Susie. No, I'm not Susie Orman. I'm Michelle with Logic from a high school dropout. And uh, we need to do something. It's, it's way past time.